it is time. Hey guys, welcome to Galaxy Jams Reacts. I'm here with special guest Delta 9, and today we're going to be listening to some Vaporwave. We got Macintosh Plus with the genre-defining album, Floral Shop. Also, like, Vaporwave is like a visual aesthetic, and so you can see yeah. the different parts of the album art have been used over and over and over again. And so uh, Vice actually included this album in their ranking of the 100 best albums of the 2010s. So this is Vectroid, a.k.a. Macintosh Plus, and this song is called Lisa Frank 420, Modern <laughs> Compute. And one thing I actually really yeah. like about this song is that, like, as it goes on, it just gets more and more and more chopped. And uh, Macintosh Plus keeps adding these different delays with, like, every single pass. It makes the song more and more unrecognizable. And it's just a really, really unique, uh, you know, like, it's like, what is music, right? Like, what defines what music is? So let's jump into Floral Shop right now. Yeah, because <laughs> I feel like this whole album is like a meme album, right? And I feel like it was made for that to just kind of like make fun of like internet culture. 
And, uh, you know, it's just one of those things where um, there's not really a lot to say about it other than, like, it sounds like, you know, like the most backgroundy background music, you yeah. know, like you're on hold <laughs> at an off-brand call center and uh, you're just waiting for the person to pick up the phone and tell you that you didn't get any money back on your, you know, investment. And uh, <laughs> off brand call center, That's funny. <laughs> but like, I think it's important because, like, also, like, you know, uh, not only is vaporwave like music, but it's also like a visual, like, aesthetic and like a mindset. A too. I think a mindset, like, an it, it's a it's like an emotion or nostalgia, yeah. And all that. Like, I feel like when we've listened to vaporwave, like, in this, you know, before on the show, it kind of gives you like that weird, like, dark, trippy, almost like. You know, like, what the hell is going on? Like, what am I even listening to, right? Yeah. And, again, it's like, when you listen to a lot of other Vectroid albums, they sound like normal things, like normal stuff. And, again, it's like, I feel like we keep going back to, like, breaking the rules. And it's like, you know, for someone to come out with an album that has, like, what we just heard, like, seriously, you know, and be like, this is a piece of music and I'm going to have other people listen to it, it's just, like, absolutely hilarious to me. <laughs> You know, yeah, I, I agree with that. All right, well, uh, but it, but it was a good ride. Yeah, well, we still got more. Let's do it. Hit it. Thank you for holding. Say no. <laughs> Some say no. Some say no. Some better call Saul vibes. <laughs> I feel like I'm like in the rabbit hole. <laughs> Reality is unraveling.
the VHS got corrupted. <laughs> You know, <laughs> it's because the thing is, is like when you're listening to it, it sounds repetitive and it sounds ridiculous. But the thing is, is that, you know, Vice made it, you know, a top 100 album of the decade for a reason. And it's not, I think, because of, you know, what we just heard. It's because so many different elements of what we just heard have been taken by other, you know, genre, vaporwave genre artists and like picked apart. Like, for example, the slow down vocals, right? That's like a hallmark yeah. of, you know, the vaporwave sound, right? And also like the tempo changes and... uh it's just like really, really interesting. And, you know, like I said, the beginning was really repetitive and it's kind of like, is this the same thing over and over again? But I liked how Macintosh Plus set a stage and then just kept picking it apart like more and more and more and more until it just became this like totally unrecognizable mess. And, uh, you know, to be able to do that and then give that to people and be like, this is something I created, right? So many people are focused on being like likable and polished and easy. And uh, I just think it's, it's so, uh, you know, when people break the rules, right? This is like the perfect example of someone breaking the rules with music, right? And in a good way and in a bad way. Because you can just be like, oh my God, this sounds terrible. But like, you know, like it's really, you know, like, it's hard to make terrible music when you make really, really good music, you mm -hmm. know, like when you're making great music, it can be hard to like make something that like intentionally sounds bad. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah. Have I, you, think uh, the, I think the coolest part about this kind of like style of music is how well they, they kind of achieve like a particular aesthetic, right? Dude, Which exactly. Like, exactly. It's, it's lo-fi. It's, it's like, it's definitely all busted up, like yeah, uh, <laughs> literally. Yeah. yeah, and that's that's cool though. Like that's that's a style, right? Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, it's a lot of people do that, and then it becomes an entire wave of music, like literally a wave, of, right? Yeah, you know, because at the beginning, like I said, I felt like it was like a thing, and then it was kind of like, oh, it's like kind of slightly different, and then it's like as it kept going, I was like this is getting more and more like unrecognizable. And, yeah. You know, even though there, she was, they were bringing back like different things. And, you know, even at the end, like, I feel like the, the, the floor just bottomed out and he just kind of fell into this like drug induced stupor, you know what I mean? Where it's like, everything's kind of swirling around in darkness. And it kind of reminded me of like, when I'm like really, really drunk and like walking home, like at night, like when I was in college and like trying not to throw up everywhere and like the room spinning and, you know what I mean? That's what it made me feel like, you know? <laughs> and the the appeal of Vaporwave is obvious. Like, people really like it. We know a lot of people right. that just listen to a ton of it and the aesthetic right. and the emotion that it elicits. And I think that this is, like you said, it's kind of like the, I don't know if you want to call it the apex, but it, like, kind of puts this all of like, that emotion into one. Right. They, like, this album really made the genre, you know? And also, when you look at the album art, it's, like, the colors and using the Japanese uh, text, right? Having the busks. It's, like, mm -hmm. Macintosh Plus was, like, the first person to throw all that together. And, like, there's entire industries of people that just like ran with it you know